Ode to a Nightingale, J. Keats. The Nightingale's easy delivery of song reminds the speaker of happy times of drinking wine and dancing in sunny climes. The Nightingale, though, does not comprehend the other side of things, the declines associated with sickness and age. The temptation to just slip away is wrapped up in the plaintive song. But the speaker comes back to themselves and wonders about the dream or dreamlike thoughts they had. There is writing in the margin. Old is any strain of exalted or lyrical verse dedicated to a fixed point and dealing progressively with a dignified theme. Just to memorize one and two. Opiate to the drain is forgetfulness. Bacchus is the god of wine, embalmed spice, underlined words are picturesque. High Requiem, a funeral hymn. alliteration, simile. Ode to a Nightingale My heart aches, and a drowsy numbness pains my sense as though of hemlock I had drunk, or emptied some dull opiate to the drains. One minute passed, and left words had sunk. Tis not through envy of thy happy lot, but being too happy in thine happiness, that thou light winged dryad of the trees, in some melodious plot of beech and green and shadows numberless, singest of summer in full throated ease. Oh, for a draught of vintage that hath been cooled a long age in the deep delved earth, tasting of flora and the country green dance and provincial song and sunburnt mirth or for a beaker full of the warm south full of the true the blushful hypocrine with beaded bubbles winking at the brim and purple stained mouth that i might drink and leave the world unseen and with thee fade away into the forest dim Fade, far away, dissolve, and quite forget what thou among the leaves hast never known, the weariness, the fever, and the fret. Here, where men sit and hear each other groan, where palsy shakes a few sad last gray hairs, where youth grows pale and spectre thin and dies, where but to think is to be full of sorrow, and leaden eyed despairs. Where beauty cannot keep her lustrous eyes, or new love pine at them beyond tomorrow. Away, away, for I will fly to thee, not charioted by Bacchus and his pards, but on the viewless wings of poesy. Though the dull brain perplexes and retards, already with thee tender is the night, and happy the queen moon is on her throne, clustered around by all her starry fays. But here there is no light, save what from heaven is with the breezes blown, through virtuous glooms and winding mossy ways. I cannot see what flowers are at my feet, nor what soft incense hangs upon the boughs, but in embalmed darkness guess each sweet, wherewith the seasonable month endows, the grass, the thicket, and the fruit tree wild, white hawthorn and the pastoral eglantine, fast fading violets covered up in leaves, and mid May's eldest child, the coming muskrows, full of dewy wine, the murmurous haunt of flies on summer eaves. Darkling, I listen, and for many a time I have been half in love with useful death, called him soft names in many a music rhyme, to take into the air my quiet breath.
now more than ever seems it rich to die, to seize upon the midnight with no pain, while thou art pouring forth thy soul abroad in such an ecstasy, still wouldst thou sing, and I had ears in vain, to thy high requiem become a sod. Thou wast not born for death, immortal bird, no hungry generations tread thee down. The voice I hear this passing night was heard in ancient days by emperor and clown. Perhaps the self-same song that found a path through the sad heart of Ruth when, sick for home, she stood in tears amid the alien corn, the same that oft times hath charmed magic casements, opening on the foam of perilous seas in fairy lands forlorn. Forlorn, the very word is like a bell to toll me back from thee to my soul self. Adieu, the fancy cannot cheat so well as she is fain to do, deceiving elf. Adieu, adieu, thy plaintive anthem fades past the near meadows, over the still stream, up the hillside, and now tis buried deep in the next valley glades. Was it a vision, or a waking dream? Fled is that music, do I wake or sleep? <laughs>